This hour now as uh, we follow the latest from a tanker truck fire on I-55. We spoke with St. John, the Baptist Parish Sheriff, Mike Treg, uh, just about an hour ago on this incident. He says that it is uh, a standstill there, as you can see on I-55. You can see the smoke uh, coming from what appears to be that 18-wheeler uh, burning. Um, Sheriff, uh, Sheriff Treg said that uh, he believed that there may be fatalities involved and that they were uh, tr attempting to try and get some rescue crews to the scene uh, because of that thick fog and smoke there hampering the area on top of the fact uh, that the uh, roadways are just stacked with cars trying to divert around uh, different areas there. It is causing some uh, difficulties for their crews to get to the scene, so he's asking everyone to avoid I-55 closed in both directions uh, right now, so you will have to uh, reroute in that area, but again, you can see debris on the ground there uh, and multiple fires there. It appears to be multiple vehicles on fire. Uh, we do have crews working uh, to get to this scene here. As we get more information, we will share it with you uh, right here. Uh, again, we've got just a little bit of extra in information. Those images of the multiple vehicles involved in the crash uh, sent to us by Brad Denton, a motorist from Nashville, uh, Tennessee. So clearly he was able to get off of that elevated uh, roadway there. Uh, the car uh, did go over the interstate as well, uh, and we're told that there are crews attempting to rescue the folks in that area. Again, as we get more information on this breaking situation, we will share it with you uh, right here. Uh, let's, uh, we actually have uh, Mike Treg on the phone now. Uh, Sheriff Treg, uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, so we're getting a look at some video here where you can see uh, uh, so the 18-wheeler on fire. It appears to be multiple vehicles on fire. Is there any additional information you can update us with right now? Yes, southbound and northbound, there appear to be about 25 accidents combined, 25 accidents. We do have two confirmed fatalities, and there are possibly two more. As northbound is the 18-wheelers that have collided into each other. There are about three 18-wheelers up there that, ha that are fully engulfed. Southbound, southbound coming towards the plus, coming over the Main Shack Bridge, is another multi-car pileup. And just a little further south from that one, coming towards the plus, is another separate pileup, and there are flames coming from that pileup. So we're still up there. Visibility is about 40 feet in front of us. And we've just got about 100 people on foot up there. And we're trying to make sure you got about 30 injured. We're trying to, got, we're trying to get more uh, ambulances, first responders. We're getting multiple assistance from San Diego Sheriff's Office, St. Charles Sheriff's Office, and State Police. But it's going to be a while, and we still appreciate all the motorists. Please avoid this area for the uh, unforeseen future right now. We're just trying to see who's injured and who can who we can save and the situation is pretty bad. Absolutely a tragic scene there uh, with so many accidents. Uh, it's almost inexplicable to, uh, to just imagine that, Sheriff. Uh, so you're saying your deputies are having to run uh, up the the roadway to get to these folks because they just can't simp simply can't drive through? It, it's completely gridlocked. I mean, completely blocked. The officers are on foot, first responders on foot. We're trying to get records up there so we can move cars, so we can get to the other accidents. This is going to take a while, and hopefully there are no further fatalities, but we will keep you all posted as much as we can. Have you heard of a car that was uh, ejected from the roadway or that went uh, over the, uh, the side of that elevated roadway there? Yes, a vehicle was pushed over the rail, and miraculously they are all still alive wow. and not, no injuries that we can see. They appear to be fine. All right. Well, Sheriff Treg, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We, we certainly appreciate you uh, uh, helping to deliver this information. And again, everyone needs to avoid this roadway, uh, like you said, for the foreseeable future. Thanks for your hard work out there. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye. All right. Now, time, time now is uh, 10.